What's up everybody, it's Jumbo Slice 21 Now I'm just going to go ahead and make another quick tutorial for you guys. It, um, it helps out a lot sometimes when you want to get, you know, a different type of text feel. So, you know, this is basically just going to show you guys how to create a stroke on a separate layer. That way, you know, you can have an outline version of it. Because not all fonts have an outline version that you can download. So this is going to help with that. And it just helps you to where you can individually edit the stroke itself and put all the effects on that basically you see this is that and then this is my my stroke layer All right now to do this just type whatever you want I'm gonna change it to white obviously you can't see it right now but that's perfectly fine so you create your text whatever you go into it you go to uh, double click the layer so you can get the layer styles and everything put a stroke on it I'm just gonna raise it so you can basically see it there's your stroke now what you do is you copy the layer now if you don't know how to do that you can click and drag to here it's gonna copy it or if you have a uh, keyboard shortcuts you can do control J or command J that's gonna copy the layer and you're also gonna need to just create a blank layer itself now with the copied layer you're gonna go into it you have to take the advanced blending fill opacity and turn that all the way down once you do that you're going to hold shift and click on the, both these layers, right click them and merge them. Now what you just did there, you created your uh, stroke layer. Now that's it, it's as simple as that. If you really wanted to, you could go in, you could put a stroke on a stroke. Uh, mostly you could do that if you wanted to change the color or you wanted to do a gradient on it or something. You could stroke it to where you could give it an effect like that. Obviously this is very basic stuff. But yeah. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. Leave a comment below if it did. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. And feel free to leave the next tutorial suggestion down below. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.